International Conference on Accounting and Finance. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I am not coming from the accounting and finance background. I am the sales manager for Dialog uh, Digital Services, but I am studying accounting and finance. Macroeconomic variables on stock returns, with special reference to Colombo Stock Exchange in Sri Lanka. The research extent uh, will be Colombo Exchange Stock Exchange in Sri Lanka. So the sequence of the presentation will be: first of all, I'll do the introduction, followed up with the literature review and conceptualization, then the research methodology, data presentation and analysis, and finally I'll do the conclusion and recommendation part. Under the introduction, uh, numerous empirical studies conducted in developed markets provide significant evidence in support of the argument that share returns fluctuate with the uh, changes in the macroeconomic variables. It is often believed that the stock returns is determined by number of fundamental macroeconomic variables such as uh, interest rate, GDP, exchange rate, inflation rate, and all. The aim of this research is to explain if the time series analysis of stock market indices of Columbia Stock Exchange is explained by corresponding macroeconomic variable, which is uh, explanatory variables of interest rate, GDP, exchange rate, wage rate, trade balance, and inflation. The research problem, based on the above understanding and the, based on the literature review, the researcher identified his research problem as uh, to examine the effect of macroeconomic variables on stock returns with special reference to Sri Lanka. Then the research objectives, there are three research objectives under this study uh, to examine whether there is a relationship between stock price and macroeconomic variables, examine the long-term uh, equilibrium relationship and the short-term uh, causal relationship among uh, macroeconomic variables and stock returns. Then finally, examine the effect of the structural breakpoint of elimination of war for the estimation. So the significance of the study, since both management and investors are concerned about their stock returns, this research has provided a light on the pathway to discover in what moves stock price as well as important macro factors to be considered by investors before making their decision, strategic decisions. In addition to that, in general, financial analysts can use this new knowledge for better strategic decisions. There are a few limitations in this study. I have taken only the uh, in industrial sector in the Columbia Stock Exchange, taken only 27 cross-sections, which means the 27 companies. So there is a limitation in the sample and determine the sampling techniques. Under the literature review, uh, the financial and economic experts have explained the impact of macroeconomic variables on stock returns in various ways for different countries for different time period. One of the earliest studies to provide an assessment of stock market behavior and various multiple macroeconomic variables is from assessed pricing approach, which uses the arbitrage pricing theory to address the question of whether risk associated with particular macroeconomic variable is reflected in expect as asset return. Then uh, there are a few authors who has in investigated this uh, association, I mean the relationship. Uh, Murad Gallo et al. investigated possible causality between nine emerging markets and uh, returns and exchange rate, interest rate, inflation, industrial production from 1976 to 1997. Their results reveal that the relationship between stock returns and macroeconomic variables were mainly due to the relative size of the respective stock market and their integration with world markets. Then uh, there are other few research uh, done on the same uh, topic uh, Sharma in 2002 tested the relationship between two uh, stock returns for Asian five countries, uh, which includes uh, the macroeconomic variables such as gross national product, the consumer price index, the money supply, the interest rate, the exchange rate. They found that in the long run, all five stock price indices were positively related to growth in output and negatively related to the aggregate price level. But a long term, 
equilibrium negative relationship between stock prices and interest rate was observed for Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and was found positive for Indonesia and Malaysia. So the conceptual model developed uh, based on the literature review. Uh, I have taken only uh, six dimensions for the research, which is inflation, interest rate, money supply, trade balance, exchange rate, uh, wage rate. Uh, so I have developed six hypotheses based on the analysis conceptual model. You can uh, see that uh, there are uh, six uh, hypotheses. Uh, uh, for example, trade balance has positive impact on uh, stock returns. Inflation has negative impact on stock returns likewise. Under the research uh, methodology part, the sample size was 27 companies. As I said earlier, the sample extent was in Columbus Tech Exchange and the time period 2005 January to 2012. The principal analysis method used is the time series behavior of the data involves uh, the panel list square method, PLS method, co-integration, which is vector to regression, and uh, Granger causality test in order to uh, test the short-term relationship among uh, explanatory variables and dependent variables. The first step of this, this process involved a test for stationary. The order of integration of the variables is estimated. For this purpose, the researcher has employed the IMPS-SUN and SHIN test for unit rows. Before performing the unit row test, trend and intercept of each variable have been tested, and it implies that all variables have trends except the stock returns. Since all variables were in non-stationary in level, Except stock return, the researcher has taken the first difference in order to take them into unique platform, in order to have the same order of integration. Since the correlation analysis represented a high correlation, which is 0 0.9, uh, among money supply and inflation, the money supply has been removed from the analysis based on the literature review, previous literature review. Under the data collection, the empirical question in this study is to find out relationship between the explained variable and exploratory variables, and given monthly data for six important macroeconomic variables of stock return uh, for the time period to which have provided 93 observations per variable have been used in the present analysis. Uh, these variables represent only a subset of economic variables used in previous studies, but these were the only variables with sufficient observation available to the author for the time period under this study. For example, even though the researcher wanted to include variables such as industrial production, GNP, the non-availability of these data on a monthly basis prevented researcher from bringing them into the analysis. 27 cross-sections have been considered for the analysis in the panel data set. Under the data presentation and analysis, in conducting the panel least square test, it was found that the adjusted R square value is 0 0.299, and the uh, Durbin Watson value was not closer to 2. So uh, the researcher uh, performed the AR1 uh, regressive, autoregressive procedure uh, in order to get them to closer to 2. So, uh, by taking the autoregressive procedure AR1 into the consideration, it has been increased to 0 0.35, which is uh, adjusted R sky. So it implies that the 35% of the stock return variation could be explained through this model. The PLS source, that's the p-values of inflation and interest rate, less, were lesser than 0 0.05, while other explanatory variable p-values are higher than 0 0.05. So uh, we can conclude that uh, inflation, only inflation and interest rate has an uh, impact on stock return in the Sri Lankan context. The coefficient value shows that the interest rate has the highest significant impact on the dependent variable. In addition to that, the researcher has been performed the Chow forecast test in order to check the structural breakpoint of 2009, which is impact of elimination of the terrorism in Sri Lanka. Since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, the researcher failed to reject the null hypothesis of no structural breakpoints. 
Since the dependent variable is in stationary in level, the researcher was failed to perform the co-integration test because of uh, not achieving the performing conditions. Uh, if we need to perform the um, vector to regression model, uh, we uh, the, all the variables should be in non-stationary in level and uh, stationary in first difference. So the uh, but the researcher has performed the trace test among only explanatory variables. Under the linear deterministic trend assumption and lag level of 1 and 2, the trace that indicates two co-integrating EQNs at the 0 0.05 level. According to the VAR model estimated in the study trade set source that there are a strong equilibrium long-term relationship among only explanatory variables. Since all variables in non-stationary in first, in stationary in first difference under the assumption of error terms are uncorrelated, the researcher has been performed the grandeur causality test in order to test the short-term uh, relationship among variables. Uh, presentation of the results shows that there is a feedback exit between stock return and nominal wage rate in lag 3 and lag 4 while undirectional causality exit from stock to wage rate in lag 1 and 2. In addition to that, the undirectional causality exit from stock returns to inflation in lag 3 while feedback exit between them in lag 4. Beside uh, undirectional causality exit from interest rate to stock returns in lag 2, 3 and 4. The, the table 2.0 in the research paper shows the all said Granger causality in lag 1 to lag 4. Under the conclusion and recommendation, the PLS, PLS the panelist least square test, shows that p values of interest rate and inflation is less than 0 0.05, while other explanatory variables values are higher than that. So it implies that there is a significant impact from inflation and interest rate on stock returns. and. Uh, the coefficient value shows that the interest rate has the highest significant impact on the dependent variable than the, uh, this uh, interest rate uh, inflation. In addition to that, the researcher has been performed the Chow forecast test. As I said earlier, there was no structural breakpoint. By employing the Granger causality test on monthly panel data, this is study uh, explain the dynamic short-term relationship between macroeconomic variables and the stock returns. Uh, so the main findings reveal that there was a feedback exit between the stock return and nominal wage rate in lag 3 and lag 4. According to the vector door regression model estimated in this study, there are some strong equilibrium long term relationship among only explanatory variables. And table 1.0 in the research in the appendix shows the same. Finally, the researcher notes some areas for future results as well. In the present paper, it is primarily concerned with testing for effects of some macroeconomic variables on stock returns in the manufacturing industry in uh, Sri Lanka for an eight years uh, time span. So it is recommended to have a good sample uh, in future studies. Uh, and it would be interesting in future research to test for effect of stock returns using all possible macroeconomic variables in a large span by selecting, selecting a large sample, not only in Sri Lanka, maybe in South Asian countries likewise. So thank you.